The year function in Excel will extract the year from a date. So for example, in this data, we have our employees who have retired from our comp company, and we want to determine how many years those employees worked for our company and maybe get an average, and the number who have worked 20 years or more. We've uh, entered the hire date here and the date that the person retired. In order to perform a calculation on just the year, we're going to use the year function to extract the year from each of those. I already have my formula here to calculate the difference between those, which will be the number of years that the employee worked. So let's use the year function. And I could easily type that in, but I'm going to bring up the dialog box so that you can see what it looks like. The serial number is a number that uh, Excel will convert a date to. So for example, if I have the 8-20-2008, Excel will convert that to a number, which it considers the serial number. When it cons converts those dates to a number, then it can perform calculations with those numbers. So the serial number is the cell that includes the date. So we're looking for year of hire. And you can see here it's 2008 and Excel has converted it to this particular number. And let's do the same for the year of retirement. And again, I'll bring up the dialog box so that you can see that. The serial number again, we're looking for the year of retirement. So it will be this date. 2022, and you can see that it has converted it to a serial number. And when I copy that down, my formula automatically gives me the number of years that each person worked before retiring. The average number of years is 16. I already have my function here. And the count if, I already have my function so that we see that there are four employees that worked 20 years or more for our company.